the Kelvin 23 is 23 tools in one, including a measuring tape, a multi-headed screwdriver, and a level. The level here on top. In the last six months, he's done a quarter of a million dollars in sales. That's a cool tool. So, Debbie, are you getting in the groove on this product? What I really like about it, looking at a generational thing, young people today, my kid's going off to college, stick it in this his suitcase. Perfect. You know, he's not going to take a toolbox. He can't afford yeah. a toolbox, yeah. but he could afford that. To me, this is the Swiss Army knife yeah. of home decoration. And that is the story in a nutshell of this little gadget right here called the Kelvin 23. And how intimidating is it to be on that show, Dragon Stan? <laughs> well, we're going to find out right now uh, with entrepreneur Kevin Royce. How are you, Hi, Kevin? Kevin? I'm doing good. Thank so Kevin. we've got the gadget here. I have a new best friend. It's called the Kelvin. <laughs> we'll talk about it in a second. It's 23 best friends. But take wow. us to that moment where you're on Dragon's Den and you walk out and you uh, have to do your presentation in front of these people and in front of the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we've seen the show and you know how it can be for people. You don't know if you're going to come off in tears. You just don't know how they're going to be. So. Yeah. When I listen back now, I listen to my voice, I can hear it. You can hear the quaver. Everyone says I was calm, but I'm telling you. I How was much did like, you run through it? Because we're going to get into this a little bit, but entrepreneurship has been in your life for many, many years. So you must yeah. have done presentations before. So is it yeah. just like cameras situational that, that adds that extra element to it? No, it's that they could tear you apart out there and make right. you look foolish. <laughs> right, know? so it could hurt your business. Plus, I mean, there's cameras all around. Yeah. But it, exactly, oh, yeah, it could hurt your business. And my kids, everyone, my friends are going to see this. Like, yeah. I, I could be embarrassed on national TV. And they had the added, uh, the episode has aired, so we can tell people, the added surprise that Debbie Travis, was, Debbie Travis was there, and she comes out, and all of a sudden, I mean, how did that change the game for you to have somebody who knows so much about home building uh, uh, there in the person? Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, this, and they sort of, surprised me with her I, as you know they, yeah. they told me there might be a guest and they said there wasn't and then then there was but I mean really at that point I was just so you were so scared I it was didn't so matter, scared. It didn't matter. <laughs> you know, well Godzilla could have come out they, so. they came on board uh, and uh, and and cut a deal with you and part of that deal was Debbie saying that she would personally endorse this product and help with the sales which I think is probably one of the greatest compliments uh, to what you've accomplished yeah. with this tool yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, because the thing, like when you, you, you invent a product and you start on this journey, you know, you're risking a lot. Like we risked a lot, and so, but never quite sure if we really had something. So, yeah, for them to come on board the way they did, and for Debbie to love it the way she did, it was just that moment justified the last five years of, like, seriously, <laughs> of, of hard, my life. Hard work. Okay, yeah. let's look at the moment, another moment from Dragon's Den, and then we're going to talk more about this thing that you need <laughs> to have. Here it is. Counter back would be 25% for half a million dollars. Kevin, I, I'm going to say no to that deal. Uh, I, you're probably the most uh, real business we've seen ever on this show, and you're probably the one that's most successful. But um, come on, Robert, it's 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 thirty thousand dollars each more. If you think this is a great idea, this isn't a lot of money for each of us in incremental dollars. You're, you, you know, it's 50 grand more. Well, if you guys are in, I'm definitely in. 500 is fine with me. If that's the end of the deal. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Done deal? Done deal. All right. All right. Okay, nice. you did something very ballsy. You came back with a counter offer. Yeah, you counted them. How scared were you to do that, to raise the stakes? You went and talked to your wife first, which I think was a very smart idea. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, no, for sure. And, and, uh, and we were, I don't know, it just seemed like the right thing to do. They, uh, they really liked the product. They moved quickly on the idea once they liked it. Yeah, and, so you know you uh, and, you know, what my wife said in the back, it's like, you know, it's 100 grand more, but we could justify it because, we, we, you know, our sales are taking off. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's spread over three. It's not 100 grand for one. Yeah. Yeah. So she hit it right on the head because yeah. when, uh, when Arlene's like, come on, Robert, it's only it's, 30 grand yeah. each. Like, it's no big yeah. deal. You could hear your and wife in it. the background. Yeah, she hit it. And I love it. He's like, all right, if you're in, then I'm in. Okay, let's talk about we it here. We haven't talked about okay, this. Okay, what does this thing do? What doesn't it do? What doesn't it? <laughs> what doesn't it? it? It doesn't make eggs, I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Calvin, it, Calvin 24. Wa walk us through what it has on here. Okay, yeah. Well, you know, well, first I'll say the whole idea is that it's just to have, 
you know, the tag is an entire toolbox in the palm of your hand. You hang in pictures and stuff around the house. Just what can you pull out of the kitchen drawer to hang pictures and fix the, uh, you the know, simple the, the frying pan, mm -hmm. light to medium duty stuff. So first you need a screwdriver. The screwdriver here, Pop. snaps open like that. I'm playing along 90. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's plug and play. Let's go. <laughs> Follow along. Um, a little flashlight here. Oh, you yeah. can see, and that's you know if you're working underneath the uh, the counter in the so dark. You can yeah, see. So yeah. You can see in the dark. Yeah. Uh, it locks at nine. We have magnets along the sides because you know when you have three or four screws and they're in your teeth and yeah. in your you pocket. You can just put them on the side here. Yeah, two powerful magnets for that. Uh, you know we've got the other bits are in here. There's 15 more bits, all the bits that you need around the house. And, and then the measuring tape. You can even put when you have to do yeah, multi bits too, like here. <laughs> There you go. How often are you looking for a measuring tape when you have to and do like something? And like you say, you when you're doing stuff it. around the house, it's got a level on the top too. There's it's even a little hammer back here. I There's love a that. hammer yeah. built in. I'm such a girl. You know what I use for a hammer at home? One uh, of my stilettos. I'm guessing a yeah. shoe. Oh there come you go. on! <laughs> <laughs> do you really? An old stiletto? Yeah. That is a very good thing. No. You know, I, I mean, you talk about around the house and stuff, <laughs> but when I look at this too, you think of all the places where, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a cyclist. This. Yeah, for yeah. a cyclist in a boat, in a car, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's really nice to have everything in just a small, little, tiny... Just, I want it to be versatile for guys, for girls, you know, different colors. I want to make tools cool, yeah. you know, and urban and fun, but and functional. And small, because people don't have a lot of room to don't, store a toolbox. It, and that's it. You know, our toolbox is in our bathroom. Literally, we live in a 900-square-foot apartment. A yeah. lot of us in, in, you know, the urban settings, we don't, we don't have, have the space. Right? Uh, and I know that, that it's probably the last thing that you thought about, but obviously it's important just how it looks. Uh, it's cool. Like, the design <laughs> looks really cool. Well, you know, I, my background is in the snowboard industry, and, uh, and this is a tool that I designed for snowboard bindings, which is based on the Volkswagen Jetta key, or the, any right. of the, so the it Audi key. Open. Yeah, so it's, you know, you push it there, and it's just like this tool, it snaps open, it locks at night. So I'm seeing but where it, the Kelvin came from in this exactly. as well. And just trying to bring some style. It's, you know, 51% function, 49% fashion. It's yeah. got to work really good, and then it's got to look good. And that's how I... So where are you with the Dragons now? What, what are your plans in the, in the near to medium future? Uh, well, just this morning, even, I just got a, an email from uh, Robert, the yeah. guy who was out with that. He was and, out then in. <laughs> and uh, it's been our first contact, because it's just been all negotiating. But now he's like, I'm so thrilled. I've got, you know, he's on the Shark Tank in the mm -hmm, States. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, on that panel is a guy, Kevin Harrington, who's like the king of infomercials. So, um, yeah. <laughs> done so, and done. You know, it, if this goes where it looks like it's going to go, it's going to be infomercials and... Well, best of luck. Maybe the next it sh is sh sham great, wow. Yeah, sham wow. <laughs> You're going to like my nuts. Well, if you want to find out more, you can go to kelvintools.com. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we're going to be talking about different kind of home tools with Mark Brunet from Beauty Mark. Some special ones for Valentine's Day. I am going to go home and...